Shortland Street. So it's agreed? Mm -hmm. I look after Daniel and you look after Claire. Makes sense. Well, it should simplify things. Simple is good. Can you believe I've got 87 hours left of this community service to go? We should just sign in. Come and play with me. Sign out when you want to head out. Now, what you'll find in this area is a space where patients need to stay for one night or longer. Hi. Sorry, Andrew. I just found out about Joan dying and then Jake was here coming. There's always me. an excuse, isn't there, Claire? No, it's not an excuse. You're supposed to be doing community service, making up for the hurt you've caused and the lies you've told. But you couldn't care less, could you? Look, this isn't her fault. Just okay. shut up, Jake. You know, I actually believed that you changed, that you were sorry for the way you've behaved. Andrew, wait. I've got some major damage control to do with the DHB. I'll see you at home. If Hoya shows up, I don't know what I'm supposed to say, so get back here now. I think it's cool the way he looks after you. Mm, he could do it after hours, though. I think he's forgotten that Hoya used to be known as the hatchet lady. Yep. Interesting call you made on the charge, nurse appointment. I'm only advice about running my department, I'll ask for it. Black coffee, thanks, Sean. Sure. Hey. Hello. Who are you? Craig. I know you love rugby, but do you feel the same way about opera? I've never been. Then you're on a level playing field. I've got two free tickets to Rigoletto tonight. Are you a starter? Um, yeah, I suppose I should see what all the fuss is about. Great. And if either of us start you winning, I promise to duck out and find the nearest sports bar. <laughs> Shall I pick you up about seven? Yeah, see you then. Uh, flat white, thanks. Mm. I just said I'd go to the opera. With Craig? Yeah. Ooh, is it Rigoletto? I'd love to see it. I'm not that keen. Maybe I should tell Craig. No, don't you dare. Uh, hey, is Tama in the kitchen? No, uh, he's not. Did you want him? I just wanted to float the idea of a survey. Uh, another time. I actually saw him leave with Etty. Is he not back yet? Actually, Tom has gone home sick. Yeah, he, he went all pale and dizzy. And yeah. Um, we think he might have the flu or something. Oh, that's no good. No. And then they were up against a wall, frotting like some kind of peep show. <laughs> frotting? Sarah. <laughs> I'm sorry. You don't think she's acting like this because she knows there'll never be any truly serious repercussions? Yeah, you're right. Maybe I should come down harder on her. You know what you need? You need to forget about all of this. Chris has offered us tickets to the opening of Rigoletto tonight. Just you and me. You can let those soaring arias wash away the troubles of the day, eh? Oh, I'd love to, but I've got to look after... Hi. Um, Andrew, I'm really sorry about what happened today. I'm sorry I embarrassed you. But I am serious about my community service. And I promise nothing like that will ever happen again. Okay. Thank you. Well, an apology is a start, at least. Cancel any plans you have for tonight, Claire. You're staying home, looking after Daniel for us. Drew? You heard? Mm-hmm. You're not to go anywhere, you're not to have anyone round. You're to stay here and do your schoolwork, okay? Fine. You can trust me. Rigoletto, here we come. Mm. Hi again. Hi. I'm on a go slow, avoiding the calf. Things getting pretty tense with the whanau. Oh. You look sad, girl. It takes me longer than five minutes to get over a busted relationship and a wrecked career. I'm sorry if it shows. Hey, I wasn't criticising. I hate it that Vinnie got that job instead of you. Forget about it. It's not your problem. Don't do that, please. Don't shut me out. You are out. We might have to bump into each other in corridors, but that's it. It's as far as it goes now. I can't.
can't stop thinking about you. Except for the 90% of your life when you're obsessing about Norman and babies and exactly what you want. That's not fair. Yes, it is. Actions have consequences, Jay. Especially when two people are in a relationship that is supposed to be based on trust. So don't even try to make out that I am being unreasonable. I'm not. I'm... Babe, this is you and me. You can't suddenly hate me. No, not suddenly. But I am getting there. Daddy. Hello. How you doing? How's my man? Oh, he's looking forward to tonight. Apparently Mrs. R reads him lots of stories. Oh, well, let's hope Mrs. R doesn't keep him up too late. Mm. What about you? Are you looking forward to tonight? Can't wait. Great. It's about time we had some fun together. <laughs> I, um, I took your advice about retail therapy. Bought myself a beautiful dress and some sparkly bling. Oh. I'd be happy going to the zoo tonight. As long as I can wear my new outfit. Right. The thing is, I'd be happy going to the zoo tonight as long as it was with you. Hey, the zoo can be arranged. In fact, it's probably preferable. Tony. Don't go frowning on me, please. Tonight means a lot to me. You and I going out together. But that's not how it is for you, is it? You're overreacting to a passing comment. I I'm just wondering what part you really think I play in your life. You're Harry's father. Is that enough? Why are you picking a fight? I'm not. I just... I feel like I'm in limbo. I feel like I'm always waiting for something. I don't know what it is. Well, right now, you're waiting for me to put my dress on and for Mrs. R to arrive. I'm here because of Harry. Because I want what's best for him. I thought you did too. So... How come uh, you kicked Scarlett to the curb? She was a cool lady. I don't know, bro. Hey, um, I've got first 15 trials next weekend. You gonna come and cheer me on? Yeah, of course I am. Take it easy. I thought that's what you were supposed to be doing, taking it easy at home. Feeling better, are we? 